infrastructure. Um, and so I'm I'm excited. You excited? You scared? Yeah, Who's scared? Ain't nobody scared but the devil. Definitely. Times are changing. The world's moving forward. And, you know, things are getting, you know, on one hand, things, you know, things, you know, from certain viewpoints, maybe things get worse. But in the end, it all it all works towards you know being better, being progressive, and um, you just have to go with it. That's right. That's what I would say. Um, is go with it. I have a tattoo on my shoulder. Uh, which shoulder is it? This shoulder, and it says "Just keep living." Yeah. Um, and it's a reminder. It was actually a reminder to me. It's a poem that I wrote. But I got the tattoo because I've been talking to my girlfriend one day and she was like, girl, I don't know how we've been through this and been through that. This is my, my sister girl, Ebony. This is one of my day one sisters. And um, she was like, I don't know how we survived this and that and how we've been through everything we've been through. And I was like, girl, that poem that I had wrote. And she was like, oh, yeah. She was like, because we didn't give up. I said, yeah, we just just got to keep living. Just keep living and you'll get there. So I think that's the that's the message of any that I would preach for us is just keep living. You know, we don't have to have it all figured out. We don't need to know what's going to happen. We don't have to know who our tribe is or how the income will come to support the work we do. We just got to keep living. I mean, we lived and then cancer came and brain surgery came and MS came and opportunities to speak came and like meeting freaking very Gary V came. I'm still jealous about that. One. I'm like, man, Shane, you my best friend just because you got to my best friend. <laughs> but no, seriously, all these things came because you just kept living. You didn't like, you didn't have like some recipe or something. You didn't know way back as a two-year-old, this would be your life talking to me in this moment right now with your own freaking radio show. You didn't know, but here you are. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's, so, it's like, I'm not, I'm not, you know, I'm not following a playbook. I don't have no schedule for all this stuff. I'm, I'm not following that. I'm not following my plan. I'm not following any plan. You know, I'm just, I just keep taking the, the next indicated right step, you know, forward. And it's right. like, you know, it's like I was saying, you know, that I saw the next step would be writing my life story and self-publishing that. And then I saw after that, I saw the next right indicated step was driving to Portland and, you know, hearing Gary V speak and maybe I'd get to meet him and maybe not, whatever, but at least I'd get to hear him speak. And then I got to meet him, Mike to Mike, and, you know, then he flew me to New York. And it's just like, I just keep moving forward. Keep, like you say, just keep living. I'm, I just keep taking the next indicated right step. Well, I think it's amazing what you're doing. And I'm just, I'm glad that we are able to have this conversation and for the conversations that you're able to have with all of the people that you reach, um, because this is the stuff that people need, you know, everyday, regular, real people <laughs> are counting on us to show up. Um, and like you said, it's like, not about like, if I get this ultimate glory thing or not, nah, but like, let me just do it. And like, just having that, just do it. Like just being a doer mindset is like, that's my thing. So I hope we can all just be doers. Yeah. Um, there was a there was a there's a speaker, well, an international speaker, and uh, he's also in finance. Um, a guy named Lucy Tembakwayo, and he's in. Uh, I'm not sure. I forget the name of the town, but I know he's in South Africa. And uh, I was I've actually listened to his audio book a few weeks ago. And after I watched the video, I was on a uh, I was on a Zoom call, and where he was this main speaker. And anyway, um, one of these mastermind calls I was on, I think it was with Eric Thomas, ET the hip hop teacher. At any rate, um, I heard Goosey speak, and I wanted to know more about it. I just loved his energy. One thing he one thing he said in his book, and I think he said it in the video of his. So one thing he said that sticks in my mind just and rings so loud and so clear for me is that all of my excuses are valid, but none of them will get me the results I want. That's and right. That's right. That just rings so loud. 
right? Doesn't it hit your spirit? Because it's true. You can have a million reasons why something won't work, why something's impossible, why it's too hard. I had a gazillion reasons of, of why I needed to stay at my job, even though it was toxic and mentally damaging and unhealthy and so many other legal things I can't talk about. I had a million reasons to leave, right? But at the end of the day, only taking action at the right time in the right way was going to get me the results that I wanted, right? We are never going to have a situation that's 100% um, efficient or 100% comfortable. We are never going to be the only one with the only thought. We love to use these words like unique and one of a kind. You know, why do you think you always look up if somebody else got the same idea you got, okay? Because this right here, you're not the only one with it. But taking action, taking freaking action, and that's what E.T. is about. He's like, you could want something all day. You can think about it all day. That's that's not going to get you what you want. You got to do it and you got to be willing to work. And his mentor, Les Brown, who I love, because um, I study ET too. So like my you you just blew my buttons when you said his name. Like, he loves all my same people. But Les Brown, his mentor says, um, you got to, you don't want something until you want it like air. And that's where I'm at. I'm at the ET point, but I'm like, it's like air. It's like, I'm going to die if I don't get this thing. And I think once you tap into that mode, then it's all go. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I, uh, you bring up Les Brown. There was a, there was a video of his I've watched several times. Um, as a matter of fact, we used to have it downloaded on my uh, YouTube video, on my YouTube app on my phone. Watched it quite a few times, actually. But he said, you know, when it all comes down to it, you got to be hungry. And it's, it's like, you know, it's basically what you do. If, if, you know, if you're hungry enough, you'll cook so you can eat dinner, right? If you're hungry for life, then you will go after it and get it. It's, you know, it's just like that. All facts. Big old facts. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like... Uh, you know, it's like he was saying about his, uh, like he was saying about his uh, job he used to have as a, he wanted to be at work at the radio. So he went to the radio station, put in an app, you know, and just kept going back and talking, you know, asking about it and asking about it and asking about it. And finally they said, okay, well, you know, give me a cup of coffee. Okay, you're hired. And uh, that's how we got on the radio. And, yep. It's just, you have to start, you have to start somewhere. And I remember the first time that, um, it's funny you say that because he's the person I was thinking about the very first time that I got an offer to do a poetry performance. And I was like, sure, I'll open with a poem, but I, I'm coming to speak. It's like, I can speak if you want, because I was trying to transcend from being boxed in as a poet into becoming a life coach and inspirational speaker, like a power speaker. And, um, and so the and instantly they were like, well, what do you want to do? And I was like, I want to do a power talk. And they were like, well, what is that? And it was like the most scariest thing to be like, I'm just going to put myself out there and I'm going to speak it. But I remembered what Les Brown had said. I remembered that speech, he, that particular video where he talks about working at the radio. And I was like, if you never say something, if you never speak up, he, he said, um, another quote of his, he's like, you'll, you'll be like, you'll be with the richest place in the world. And we all know where that is, right? It's a graveyard because more people die with billion dollar dreams that they've never, ever lived. than millionaires get to spend money. More people die with billionaires worth of dreams that they yeah. never spent. Right? So he, he's a person who definitely um, impacts me a lot to be to be my best and to just to keep going even when I'm not my best. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, what what I'm what was just coming to my mind when you were talking about talking about you know the graveyard being the richest place in the world, which is so very true, you know, because people you know with all these unfulfilled dreams and lives that people you know could have, should have, would have you know, fulfilled or whatever, then, you know, it can't happen now because it's in the graveyard. And um, it's like, uh, like Gary, Gary V talked about, uh, you know, having no regrets, you know, and um, 
uh, something I had heard a while back, which I put into practice yesterday. Um, and my reflecting on my being at the beach yesterday, reflecting on these people that have passed in my life recently, and you know, then the rainbow and it being all okay, got, got me thinking. And I was thinking, and um, I saw I stopped and saw a friend on my way home, saw a very good friend on my way home from the beach, and talked to her for a couple minutes, and that was it. And I carried on, went home, and um, you know, then, then I got to thinking, I got to thinking about, you know, this thing I saw a while back about unspoken words, leave no words unspoken. And so it's like, you know, I, I was thinking about the, 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 the uh, premise of passing on, dying, and what you're saying about, you know, being in the graveyard, you can't, you can't, you know, all those ideas and dreams and whatever, you know, it's like words unspoken. They can't be spoken now if, you know, if the words are in the graveyard. And so I just, I was feeling inspired to do this. So I sent my, I sent this very good friend a message and, you know, I just let her know, you know, hey, you know, just, I led up to it and just said, you know, hey, look, I don't want to leave these words unspoken. So just from the time I met you, I thought you were very beautiful and I love your hair and you know, you're just the sweetest lady I've known. And Aww. you know, and I just want you to know that I love you. And that was it. And you know, it's like I just wanted to release those words before, you know, if anything were to happen to me, then you know, she'd never hear those words from me. So I just wanted to put that out there. And I got, I got back sort of a, a reciprocal message, you know, same thing sort of, but it's like, you know, I just had to put that out there, you know, those, and so that they weren't unspoken words. And I just, you know, I guess right now I'm urging everyone to do that, you know, don't leave with unspoken words. Yep, there's nothing worse than words we didn't get to say and work we didn't get to do. Um, so I'm, I'm glad that you got to say that, but I, I just encourage everybody just keep living. That's, yeah. that's my message. Like, just keep living, keep going forward. Right on, right on. Those, those are like such powerful words too. Just keep living, you know, and just keep moving. Like, like one of my, my, uh, motto or one of my phrases is keep moving forward, you know, no matter that's what, right. keep moving right. forward. And, um, all right. Well, I, I was just looking at the clock and realized we're right at, we're right at the time, actually, maybe a minute over. But um, I was just wondering if you wanted to give everyone uh, contact info in case they wanted to get in touch with you. Sure. Um, so you can find me on all socials, Natrice.Spicer, N-A-T-R-I-E-C-E. S-P-I-C-E-R. And then um, I have the Inspired Life podcast, which is on Instagram and Facebook. We are streaming everywhere, Spotify, Apple, Google Play, um, uh, Podbay, <laughs> uh, uh, Stitcher, everywhere that things are being streamed, you can find us. It's the Inspired Life podcast. But if you just Google my name, you'll find the podcast and then you can tap in. Thank you. You have been amazing. It's been fun, fun, fun being yeah, able to have this conversation, but also inspirational, being able to talk with somebody else who really cares about um, global well-being and just like the impact of humanity. Um, and so I'm excited to see the work continue. Thank you so much. Um, right and I'll be on. sure to share your show so people can tune in. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, Natrice. And I will be, thank you very much for joining me and all your uh, words of wisdom you've shared. And um I, I will be, just to let you and everyone else know, I will be uh, posting this, if it's not already on my Facebook Live, I'm not sure if that did connect earlier, but if it's not, I will post a copy of this video on my Facebook, and I will uh, be, co be posting a copy of this video on my YouTube channel, so it will be, you know, my sh I put my shows on YouTube uh, since it's on video now. So, you know, they're for all time instead of just one and done. And um, yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. 
um, technology rocks. Right, right. Let's go tech. Let's go. I love me some tech. So yeah. yes, make sure that you go ahead and DM me all of the information or email me so that I can post all of the links. And then um, from there, we'll go ahead. Oh yeah. Let's get definitely. a selfie. And and I will I will uh, I will definitely tag you in, in the posts on uh, Instagram. All righty. Let's yeah. get a selfie before we disconnect the call. Okay. Sounds good. Got it. Okay, sweet. <laughs> All right. Bye. Thanks well, so much. Have a great Sunday, Shane. Yeah, thank you very much. And you have a great day, great Sunday too, Natree. All righty. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye-bye. Peace. And there you have it. And so thank you, Natree, for coming on today and sharing your positivity with the world. And with that, I guess I'll just wrap it up by saying... I wish everyone could stay kind, optimistic, and grateful, and have a phenomenal day and a phenomenal week. And I will see you next Sunday here on Positive Vibes at BT Radio Universal in downtown Tacoma, Washington. Thank you, and peace. I'm out. Laters.